But how are these medicines made? What are the raw materials used to make them? Of course, pharmaceutical industries need raw materials from chemical industries. In fact, the chemical industry is one of the fastest growing and diversifying industries of India. These chemical industries produce both organic and inorganic chemicals. These chemicals have extensive use in many other industries. Organic chemicals include petrochemicals which are used in manufacturing of synthetic fibers, synthetic rubbers, plastics, drugs and pharmaceuticals. Petrochemicals are byproducts of the oil refinery plants. Therefore, organic chemical plants are generally located near these oil refineries. Moving on, let's discuss some of the inorganic chemicals. Sulfuric acid, nitric acid, alkalis, soda ash and caustic soda are some examples of inorganic chemicals. These chemicals have many varied applications. For instance, sulfuric acid is used in making fertilizers, synthetic fibers, plastics, adhesives, paints and dyes. Soda ash is used to make paper, glass, soaps and detergents. So, as you can see, even to make several of these chemicals, you need chemicals. In fact, the chemical industry is its own consumer. Simple chemicals have to undergo multiple processing if we want to manufacture complex ones. Chemicals are a part and parcel of our lives. Products of the chemical industry are used in agriculture, industrial application and other purposes. So, we can definitely say that this industry will see continuous growth in the future. Approximately 283.37 million tons of food grains in 2018-2019. Now that is an astounding number. Fertilizer utilization by farmers would have played a big role in producing these grains. Why? Because crops need many nutrients like nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium to grow. But not all soils would be enriched with all these nutrients, right? So we rely on fertilizers to make up for this shortage in the soil. And do you know who produces these fertilizers for farmers? Yes, the fertilizer industry. The main products of this industry are nitrogenous fertilizers phosphatic fertilizers as well as diammonium phosphate. Urea is one of the most important nitrogenous fertilizers. Complex fertilizers which have a combination of nitrogen, phosphate and potash are also key products of this industry. Now, although we have a good enough supply of nitrogen and phosphorus for this industry, we aren't as blessed when it comes to potash. The country does not have any reserves of commercially usable potash or potassium compounds in any form. So a large chunk of potash is imported to our country. The fertilizer industry has expanded to several parts of the country in the past few decades. All thanks to the green revolution. Half of the country's fertilizers are produced by five states. They are Gujarat, Tamil Nadu, Uttar Pradesh, Punjab and Kerala. Of course, this may not be a permanent statistic. It could change as and when new fertilizer plants come up in different parts of the country. Now, other significant producers of fertilizers are Andhra Pradesh, Odisha, 
राजस्थान बिहार महाराष्ट्र आसाम वेस्ट बंगाल गोवा दिल्ली मध्य प्रदेश एंड कर्नाटका It's quite evident that almost all states of India are dependent on the fertilizer industries. Almost all citizens of India are indirectly dependent on this industry to meet their food requirements. Industrial activities are quite complex in nature and demand the support of many other industries. A good example is the automobile industry. All the privately owned vehicles and other commercial vehicles are the products of the automobile industry. It facilitates other industries in transportation of raw materials, finished goods. and also human resources India has a well developed automobile industry this industry produces various types of vehicles like trucks buses cars motorcycles scooters three wheelers and multi utility vehicles after the liberalization of the indian market in 1991 various new and contemporary companies and models of vehicles came to the indian market liberalization was a process where foreign and indian private companies were allowed to do business with lesser government restrictions today indian automobile market is one of the largest in the world with new innovations and designs automobile industry observed a healthy demand and growth in india the industry manufactures vehicles in various centers across india various automobile manufacturers are based in cities like delhi gurugram mumbai pune chennai kolkata lucknow इंदौर हैदराबाद जमशेदपुर एंड बेंगलुरु विद अ ग्रोइंग इकोनॉमी एंड एक्सपैंडिंग मार्केट द ऑटोमोबाइल इंडस्ट्री इज लुकिंग फॉर फर्दर ग्रोथ इन इंडिया इन द नियर फ्यूचर Mumbai 
Delhi, Hyderabad, Pune, Chennai, Kolkata, Lucknow, and Coimbatore are emerging as important centers for electronic goods. This industry has the potential to grow in the coming years as India has developed the ability to provide information technology services to the world.